We love to introduce our coaches so that you can get to know them and the great work that they are doing for God's glory. And today we are so honored to have Coach Kristen Winklebeck of PivotPointProfessionals.com with us. Hi, Coach Kristen. Hi, Janice. It's such a pleasure to be here. Thank you for the invitation. It is really good to have you. You know, we've been looking forward to this for a few months now, and today has arrived. So I know. It's, uh, time's flying lately. Oh, it is. You know, I know our viewers, those who are live and those who are going to come back and watch the recording, will be curious to find out, well, who do you coach? Well, I um, the name of my business is Pivot Point Professionals, and that name was set a few years ago um, as I was navigating my own pivot. So who I help are really professionals, executives, and business owners um, who are needing or wanting to navigate some changes in their life. They're feeling disjointed, they're feeling frustrated, or maybe they're forced to react to some circumstances. And so I really help them to identify actions that they can take so that they can make progress and really align their priorities with their passion and their purpose. Okay, it sounds like quite a mission and vision uh, God has given you. Um, so tell me how you felt the calling to coach, Coach Kristen. Well, well, I can't say that I originally I knew that this is what I was being called to do, but it started back in 2016, and I had been working in the corporate sector for almost 20 years at that point, and I started to get this restlessness about my spirit. Just I had experienced great success great success and tremendous blessing in, in my corporate position, rising up through the ranks of leadership and management. But there was this restlessness that I was supposed to potentially do something different or, or more mm -hmm. um, with my leadership skills, with my management style, which had always been that of a coach. Um, so I did something a little bit unorthodox in that I felt the Lord calling me to take a sabbatical. And that was a pretty, you know, that was not what I was expecting, <laughs> but I found that in that true rest, number one, he, I was very, very fortunate. And I see that as a true luxury um, and blessing from him that I was able to take that time to discern what my next step would be. And so it was through that rest and through just really being open to his divine appointments and the people that he would introduce me to and the places he would take me in some personal travel that I came across um, a couple of different coaches, one of whom was a fellow Christian Coach Institute graduate. Mm -hmm. And we started talking about it and, you know, they really encouraged me to explore it. So I enrolled in, um, I took my sabbatical in 2018 and I was very proud to be admitted and part of the fall 2018 class. And that's really what started my journey. And I knew very quickly upon meeting you before I even applied to, to the program. But I knew and was very certain that first class that I had I had arrived where I was supposed to be. Mm. You know, I have said more than once, Coach Kristen, I really believe that every every student that comes to us is just handpicked by God. And we are so grateful that you came and you trusted us uh, with your coach training. So. It's been a wonderful. It was a wonderful experience, and honestly, it was it was the best thing I ever did. And and I think that's the one thing I would tell people is if it's something that you feel like a tug on your heart, mm -hmm. don't don't ignore it. Take the step to pursue it, explore it, and even if there's a pause or a roadblock, maybe it's not right now. It's not a no forever. But um, I'm grateful that I I took the leap of faith. Mm, thank you for sharing that. That's so in encouraging for others to hear. I know, and you know, we and we both know that it's not a perfect journey um, in coaching. Like in anything, there are yeah. challenges from time to time. Uh, what challenges have you faced as a coach? You know, I think I've been my own worst enemy or critic. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we all want to be sure. We want to be assured of the next step. We want to know that it's going to be successful. We want to know, you know, we, we get ahead of ourselves a bit. Mm -hmm. And so I really do believe that that's been my biggest challenge is when I have stepped back, especially when I feel 
like God's calling me to do something a little unorthodox or a little outside the box, like being brave enough to dip my toe in and take that first step. And honestly, we can all get caught up in kind of analysis paralysis and and making sure that all the stars are aligned and all the, the plans are perfectly laid. And the reality of it is, is sometimes you just need to be obedient and sometimes you just need to be willing to take one step. And then that one step breeds success or that one step leads to a divine appointment where you're going to meet someone who's a client or who's a potential collaborative partner. Um, and so I really, you know, I probably have been my biggest challenge is just overcoming that need to know and, and to see down the path farther than than is realistic, especially right now. There's a lot of people that are feeling a ton of anxiety about the current climate and it's real. But if you feel like God's calling you to do something or you feel like you're being led in a certain direction, you know, prayerfully discern. And if you feel like that's the right step, then then be bold and be faithful and be obedient to where you're being called. And, you know, as, as you are sharing uh, from your heart, and I really hear that's right from your heart, it's just, you know, it's that, it's that encouragement that you're giving others to just continue to kind of move forward, even if it's a baby step, it's the move forward within faith um, and being obedient being obedient to us all. Yeah. And I, and I wish, you know, I wish I had the benefit of, of a coach early on in my discernment process, you know, it would have helped me get there a little faster maybe, but we know God <laughs> did it. Um, but I, I truly now know having, you know, having my own coaches that they have really helped me to identify when I'm self-sabotaging and when I'm making excuses or um, kind of throwing roadblocks to my progress. And, and they've been wonderful to help me process through that. And good point. Every coach needs a coach. Yeah. yeah good. That's the lesson yeah. I learned. <laughs> yeah. We learn that early on, don't we? Yeah. Um, I would love to hear, get your take on how you believe the that coaches are making a difference in the world. I mean, especially today, you know, today's environment is different, but what, what, do you, what would you have to, to share on that? You know, I think one of the things that is the biggest blessing about coaches is so often we want kind of that third party, that safe place mm -hmm. where we can just bounce ideas or externalize and process our thoughts. Yeah. Um, and that's the beauty of, of a coach is they're there to give you that. They're not tied to an outcome other than they want you to be successful and they want you to achieve your goals, right. but they're not leading you or swaying you like people that know us every day, our family and our friends. And there's certainly place and, and, and important place for those people in our lives as we make decisions and as we navigate these things. But I think the safety of an outsider's perspective to ask questions to help you dig deeper and and really explore opportunities and to help you figure out what action will you take because coaching is future oriented and action packed right i mean we're forward looking and we're we're action oriented so helping to formulate this so what will you do with this new information what is one step you can take how will you take it and when will you take it Not telling you what to do but inviting you to discover that and explore that for yourself. And that has made all the difference in terms of really moving forward. And I think in the landscape we're in, so many are paralyzed by the uncertainty and anxiety and they're real concerns, mm -hmm. but you have to take action. You can't just sit and wait until you feel like, you know, until you have all the, the perfect plans or you know what the outcome's gonna be. Mm -hmm. And even if it's a baby step, mm -hmm. at least, progress and you can celebrate that progress and good coaches celebrate progress with their clients, Absolutely. you know? And yeah. so it's, it's really, I think that it's, there's now more than ever, especially as people are navigating uncertainty in the job market or their business climate, coaches can play a really powerful role in helping you think more broadly and think outside the context that you operate every single day. Yeah. Beautifully said. And, you know, Coach Kristen, I know your faith is very important to you. And, of course, that's one of the reasons I know you chose Christian Coach Institute as a, a Christian-based coaching organization. And, you know, I know that we all have some favorite scriptures. And yep. like mine is Ephesians 2.10, for I am his workmanship, you know, his masterpiece. I love that scripture. And I'm sure you have 
um, some of your own favorites. Would you share one with our um, viewing audience? Yeah, one that really was laid upon my heart when I first started Pivot Point Professionals and when I started to actually encounter and engage with paying clients, which is always a coach's first you know, big barrier, right? Can I get someone to, to actually um, become a client? And very early on, the Lord gave me 2 Timothy um, 1.7, mm -hmm. for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and love and of a sound mind. And that was true two years ago when I started this journey. And it's even more true right now um, in the climate that we're in. It's so easy to become fearful. It's so easy to think of all the anxieties and the unknowns and, and what if this and what if that. And, and that has really been an anchor for me um, to just come back and know that fear is not from God. I mean, he, he just doesn't, that's not from him. And so every time I feel that fear or anxiety starting to rise up um, or I see it with a client, um, you know, I just, I love to pull that scripture out and it's, it's simple, it's straightforward and it's really powerful and it's timeless. I mean, it is it knows no circumstance or time. Um, it is always, it is always right on point. Well, and that's one that um, I know coaches can uh, hold on to. Now, hold on too tightly. And as you're talking, it just makes me want to ask you, you know, how has God spoken to you uh, in your coaching career? He speaks a lot through his people that he brings to me. Um, and I haven't done, you know, I haven't done any paid advertising or mm -hmm. um, big media pushes to attract clients. Um, mm -hmm. I know that God has brought the people to me that he wants me to help. Um, and who are a good fit, you know, who are maybe struggling with something I've struggled with in the past or personality wise, you know, we're just a good fit. And so I continue to be amazed by the people that he brings and how the timing of that, too. Um, you know, we can want certain things in a certain time frame or set certain goals for ourselves. But he's really, I think, continued to to speak through the people that he's brought to me. In addition to just, you know, I may ask them questions about their faith journey or their, you know, favorite scriptures or, or readings that they're doing or studies that they're doing. And it never fails <laughs> that something they share that they've been learning is something that I need to hear. <laughs> and so I love when that happens. And I call those kind of divine appointments. Yeah. Um, because he really does use his people mm -hmm. and he's, I believe he's, he's really orchestrated and ordained every step I've taken. And I know he's done that for my clients. And so he's never early and he's never late. He's always right on time. Um, and so I love to see who's next and who he will bring, whose paths will cross again um, and how we will continue to journey together. Um, because I think that's the other misnomer about coaching and coaching engagements is that it really is a journey together um, between the coach and, and clients. Mm -hmm. And so I love to see who he brings and into my path and who I can accompany on their journey um, towards fulfilling his will for their lives. And the journey continues. So I'm truly excited to see where he takes you next as you continue your journey. Coach Kristen Winklebeck of Pivot. Uh, point professionals.com. Coach Kristen, is there anything else that you'd like uh, our viewers to know? No, I would just love people to be encouraged that, you know, the current situation we're in is not a surprise. Um, you know, God knows this and he works all things together for our good. And he brings people. It's no mistake that you're seeing this if you're watching it live or if you're going to watch it later. Um, I hope that you will be encouraged if you feel led or moved and want to reach out to me. Um, you can reach me through the website or you can also one of the platforms I love to use, especially for professionals, is the link. LinkedIn platform. So I'd invite anybody that wants to reach out to me on that platform with a direct message. Um, my profile is Kristen with an I-N um, Winklebeck on the LinkedIn platform. So send me a personal invitation to connect. Okay. Wonderful. It's so great to have you here with us today. And again, it's uh, Kristen with an I-N uh, Winklebeck of pivotpointprofessionals.com. And Coach Kristen, thank you so much for choosing us as your coach training school. And we wish you all the best uh, and all for God's glory. Thank you. Thank you so much, Janice. Take care. Bye.